when I didn't have a high education, I just spent half of my salary buying books. If you come to my home one day, you can see all the books that actually became my university. Books on motivation. If I didn't know how to write a business plan, I'll buy a book, how to write a business plan. And when I realized that I wouldn't get far if I could not speak in public, I actually um, attended a course by Mr. Gerald Green, a three-day course. It cost me six, seven hundred ringgit, you know. But that really gave me a head start on how to stand in public, how to convey your message, and how to sell your ideas. So I never let anything, lack of any ability, stop me from going for what I wanted. When I had this idea to write this book, I wanted to share with people out there that anything in this world is possible if you believe in your dream and you are willing to pay the price to make it come true. Ladies and gentlemen, I oh, 10 years ago, I told a friend that I will write a book one day. That was 10 years ago. And I said, when I write this book, I don't want to tell about how successful I am or you know, being a salesperson or whatever. But I said, I hope that this book can inspire people to be more than what they can. And today, this dream has come true. I'm very, very proud and I'm very happy that so many people supported me. You know, when you want to write a book, publishers will turn you down. I'm sure you learn though. You can't get a good writer, uh, or a lot of things will happen, you know. You will be so caught up that you cannot finish the book. But if you really pursue whether this, if you really believe in this dream, it can come true. And today is 10 years late, but never too late. And it's a dream come true. When I look at the book cover, and I say that dreams can come true. Who would believe a Form 5 girl like me with no degree, and I only got one day during my Form 5, only earning a salary of 400 ringgit as a bank teller, would stand here today publishing a book to inspire people. Never in my wildest dream. When, when you have reached that place that you've dreamed about so many times in your mind, you can look back at the journey and say, yes, I did it. Everything that I ever dreamed for, dream has come true. When we first started to invest in properties, or we wanted to start, I told my husband one day, I said, dear, we will own 50 properties one day. He looked at me, but we just started the first property. I know, I said, but in my mind, I already imagined that we will own that many properties. Today, we own 13 properties with a total value of 5.6 million. What seemed like an impossible dream four and a half years ago is a reality today. Every now and then, I will take a look at the sales and purchase agreement just to make sure that we still own it. When I was working in the corporate world, I had another dream. I wanted to be I wanted so much to be a better mother to my children, Jasmine, Jasmine, Isaac and Ivan. It was a very struggle, a big struggle for me trying to manage career, try to hit the target, and then at the same time come back after so late at night to manage the children. And I felt that I was living a very imbalanced life. But I realized that if I were to let my life just be like that, then I will I will not be a good mother. So I made at the lowest point of my life in 2005, I actually made a decision that I can be the most successful corporate person, but if I fail as a mother, then it will be not fair to them. You know, they look up to me and I brought them up into this world. I have to set a good example for them. 
and I have to make a painful decision to leave the corporate world, but we are still, I'm still very good friends with Dato Kaur. I still try to promote their properties, you know. But, you know, mom always told me that life is about a balance. You know, you have to balance up work, you have to give your best shot, but at the same time when you're at home, you are people's wife, you are, you know, you have in-laws and you have uh, children that you must give your best as well. You know, a lot of times I realize it's tough, but I make that decision, you know, to come out so that I can still do what I like, but at the same time, I have a more meaningful life. Ladies and gentlemen, life is about choices that you make. Ignatius always tells me, you only live once. Make that your best life and not settle for anything less. Don't ever ever settle for anything less. I, I always tell people, live 100%. Don't go for 50% or 60% or 70%. Go for 100%. Or if you are a bit more kiasu, go for 101%. You know? Obstacles and challenges are part of the journey. Do you know that I only start writing my book after 12? Because Jasmine, Jas Jasmine sleeps very late. She loves to read just like me. And she only sleeps after 11 or 12. So that is the only time when after they are asleep, then I can write. If you come to Solok Mas, you know, 15 Solok Mas, you will see that light on there. Ignatius will be trading. Forex and options, the wife sitting beside him will be writing book, you know, writing, putting the thoughts. You know, if you want something in life, you want to achieve something, you got to make sacrifices. If it means sacrificing your time, your leisure time, or a little bit of your sleep, you got to do it. Because at the end of the day, all those nights, Sitting out with my co-writer Joan up to 12 midnight, 1 a.m. You know, she's interviewing me, helping to put things together. Even Mr. Hall, I was at his office up to 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, would you do this to achieve your dream? I would, because today is a testimony of if you put in your heart and soul, you don't worry about sleep, you don't worry about forgetting to eat sometimes. It can come true. You know, and always remember that you are not alone. A lot of people feel that when they want to succeed in something, they, they are alone and nobody will help them. I have a lot of people, no doubt a lot of people discourage me, but I have a lot of people who actually encourage me. Ignatius actually fetches me all the way to KL. Sometimes we wake up at 4am in the morning to go all the way to attend uh, Milan's seminar, you know, and even when I'm seven or eight months pregnant, anyone can deliver already. The doctor said, are you sure you want to go? I said, I'm determined. I want to be successful in property. I will go. And I told Ignatius, if halfway I got labor pain, find the nearest hospital and then we go in. Uh, his life has been a roller coaster since he met me. I am always asking him to do impossible things. You know? And 